What is up YouTube? It's that sick you here and today I'm gonna to be teaching you some cool tricks about the car. So today we have the 2015 Infiniti Q50. This is the fully loaded trim so it's got everything in it. So let's get right into it. First off, let's say it's a hot day outside and you're walking towards your car and you want to air out the cabin. So what you do is you take out the key fob and you press and hold press and hold the unlock button and let's see what happens so as you can see everything goes down including the sunroof so that's the first one second dog let's say you want to you lock it back up now so what you do is you'll notice that there's a small hatch that releases the key from the back so what you do is you, you pull it to the left and you take the key out which I will do in a second. So once you have the key out, all you do is you put it in the keyhole like you would normally and you twist to the, to the lock position which is to the left and let's see what happens. So as you can see all the windows will back up except the sunroof. The sunroof you have to go inside and do it yourself. So now here's what happens if I lock the car. It beeps at me. And this is what happens when it, when I unlock the car. You can hear the noise, right? It beeps at you. So if you don't want that, here's what you do. So you take the key fob and you hold the lock and unlock button and the car will flash at you. So as you can see, it flashes. So here's what happens when I unlock it. It's quiet. I want to unlock it. Quiet again. So next up, we're going to be looking at this little camera button right here. So this is what happens when you press it. So you can see a 360 view of the car. And here also you can see a front view. Now this is helpful for people who don't know how long their hoods are. So I'll give you a demonstration of how it helps. So let's say you want to park in one of those parking spaces. And as you can see, there's a curb over there and you don't want your front bumper to hit that. So this is how you use this. You approach the parking and as you can see, you can center your car perfectly in the middle of the parking spot. And you can see over here how much, how much space you have left in front that you can go. So as I approach the parking, my goal is to stop at the red so that I have a foot of space left in front of the car. So we'll do just that. Stop at the red. And as you can see, the car is perfectly in the center. So next up, we're gonna be talking about the key fob once again. So what happens if your battery dies? We're here to find out. I'm gonna take out the, the battery out of my key fob and we're gonna try to start the car. So give me a second while I'll do that. So here, as you can see, there's no battery in it. No battery and I'm going to close the back up and I'm going to put the key back in. So as you can see the battery is right here. So here's what happens when I press the, uh, the start button with no battery in the, in the key fob. Uh, yeah, that's what it says. Key ID incorrect. So now what you have to do is you take the key fob just like that. And you put it on top of this, your start button. And you can see right there, it's telling you what to do. So now you can, so now that I recognize your key fob, now you can press the brakes and press the start button. And the car will start. All right guys, last but not least, we're gonna be talking about the memory seats. So over here, you can see that there are only two and you might think that there are only two. So you're probably asking yourself, but how do you get to the other memory seats? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. You come to your center console and you see that little icon right here? You press it. And you have all your users. You can have up to four users, so up to four other memory seats. And look what happens when I press the other user, when I sign into the other user. Look at my seat. It changes. 
So that's that's the second one. Let's say this is the third user. I change it again. This is what happens. I move again. So yeah, you can have up to four memory seeds. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more. Stay tuned and until the next one. Peace.